everyone welcome back to another video on our channel and this video is going to be regarding the TCS digital interview experience digital digital enhanced salary what questions they are asking in TCS digital and what type of preparation you should make where you can prepare from so for TCS prime I have made a separate interview experience video and also for TCS ninja prime digital all interview experience preparation roadmap everything I have given in this particular playlist I'll show you the particular playlist in the description box go and check those playlists before uh, your interview because TCS uh, have multiple three roles interviews and for each role the preparation is different for each role interview questions are different lengths are different toughness is different so you cannot go for a general preparation make sure to have your role wise preparation strategy and experiences questions you can check from the playlist so go and check I'll give you link in the description box and now let's come to the digital interview experience and its uh, in hand salaries so let's start but before moving on if you are new to our channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram and whatsapp channels from the description box link and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring onboarding and interview updates every day regularly make sure not to miss out so let's see first of all the ctc for this particular uh, digital role uh, for this uh, UG candidates is going to be 7 lpa and what is going to be the enhanced salary enhanced salary generally uh, is near about 50000 so 50 to 52000 in between this range uh, the salary happens so the exact amount you can get from the play, uh, after getting the salary breakdown but this is going to be the approximate range so now let's see what type of questions you can expect in this digital interview and how to prepare so this is going to be the approximate in hand salary this is going to be the length of the interview so generally 45 to 50 minutes is uh, the timing so at most it is going to be by uh, one hour like that okay so let's see one by one the detailed questions and uh, what you should prepare first of all like every interview they are going to ask you intro and in, in intro you can control the flow of the uh, interview how it is going to happen so if you are giving no information in intro they are going to directly start asking random questions but if you are saying that i have loved this programming language or i love working in this technology they are going to directly go for that technology and ask questions from that okay so you can direct your flow of interview in the intro itself next they are going to go for projects because whatever projects you have done is going to play a major role in your prime and digital both of these hiring interviews the project first of all they are going to ask you to explain about your project so first you have to explain what is the problem statement of the project what problem you faced and why you thought of making this project why which problem this is going to solve then you have to use how it is working what type of multiple uh, ways you have thought of designing this what technology stack you have used for this okay and if you have used any concepts uh, related to that project which concepts you have used for solving they are going to ask you detail about those concepts suppose they are making an ml project so they are going to ask you multiple types of uh, algorithms that are there in ML or suppose you are solving uh, a yeah, cyber security project or website uh, development project they are going to ask you concepts about web development or cyber security multiple threats and all DDoS these type of things and next they are going to ask you about the project tech stack what tech stack you have used in the project okay so suppose you have done the front end with react so they might ask you react related questions suppose you have used uh, PHP in the back end so they are going to ask you PHP related questions so they might also ask why you have used PHP among all the other back end technologies technologies are there so they might ask you those also these things they are going to ask about projects and for project make sure you have a live project you can you have deployed your project and at least if you don't have deployed your project at least have the code uh, pushed into github so that they can uh, get your github link from you and they can check it on their own okay so at least make sure that project is in github next is going to be ai ml cyber security blockchain all these things you are don't panic because all these things you know do not need to uh, worry about only one of these things they're going to ask if you have any skills or knowledge about any of these things okay multiple uh, basically the modern age technologies what are going on in the market right now uh, artificial intelligence machine learning uh, data science cyber security blockchains so if you have any idea about all these things they're going to ask you a detailed question about it okay they're going to ask you the conceptual questions and also uh, certifications if you have any they're going to ask you questions about those certifications and that related questions as well next they're going to ask you what is your favorite language and if you say something like java python anything whatever you are going to say uh, they are going to ask detailed in-depth concept from those language uh, multiple uh, keywords uh, when to use that why to use that okay real life scenarios or industry scenarios why you're going to use that these type of questions they might ask also there will be coding questions asked to you in digital also mostly generally one coding questions is going to be asked 
it might be in intermediate level okay so it will be not higher than intermediate it will be hardly intermediate level questions generally sorting algorithms they might ask you to write the whole sorting algorithm in a particular language and any sorting algorithm they might ask like suppose bubble sort or quick sort whatever they might they will give you some uh, name or you have to write the code for the algorithm and also they might ask you to uh, dry run the code on based on some input Next, they are going to ask questions from SQL concepts. So, SQL concepts are very important for any interviews. And there are not only just uh, concepts about query languages, there are also other SQL concepts like normalization, acid properties and all. They might ask from that there also. And they might ask you what is DDL and what is this. Uh, there are multiple conceptual questions about the SQL queries also, SQL syntaxes also. Like, uh, what is the difference between delete and drop and truncate? okay how these things work okay so this type of multiple questions they might ask what is the difference between multi, uh, the, all the joins or types of joins okay what is sub query what is correlated sub query when we use which this type of multiple questions they can ask from sql and they will ask you obviously to write sql queries okay so because sql queries one of the most common questions they might ask so pra try practicing sql query writing okay when just search in google uh, top interview sql query questions like that you are going to get multiple websites go and check from their geeks or geeks or any other website okay next they're going to ask you like what uh, uh, in project only they might ask you what real life use of your project have Generally, this is one of the managerial round questions you are going to face for about your project and certifications also okay and next in the HR round they are going to ask you also in managerial round also they might ask related to TCS related questions like what, who is the CEO of TCS when TCS is formed how many countries TCS is in okay what is the motto of TCS or what uh, recent what projects they might uh, uh, why you want to join TCS, especially this question, like why TCS, why not other companies, these type of questions they're going to ask, make sure to prepare a good answer about those, you can find multiple videos or you, even in YouTube, Google or chat GPT, you can find these answers, but don't say exactly, modify it according to your own uh, references. Next, there will be HR related questions like are you flexible to work from uh, office, work from home, also are you flexible to move to a certain location or, multi, uh, or another city, or are you flexible enough to work on weekends or night shifts? This type of questions they might ask. Make sure to say yes to all these questions. Okay. And that's it. That's all the questions they are going to ask for this particular digital interview. So if you have any other queries, you can comment down. Also, I have posted earlier multiple other digital or prime related interview roles uh, and also for Ninja role. We have already posted multiple preparation strategy videos and experience videos for this for the fab batch. You can check those also. They are going to help.